Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, question, what is the HCL? From Mark Z, the hydrocarbon law. This is where the Kurdish region of Iraq shares oil profits, government revenues, etc. How they handle payments, and who gets what. It's been a huge stickler for 19 years in Iraq. From Newshound Guru Tishwash, article, Parliamentary Committee expects oil and gas law to be approved soon, delayed because it is a political pressure card. Quote, the Parliamentary Oil and Gas Committee expressed its optimism on Sunday about the imminent approval of the oil and gas law. From Intel Guru Frank 26, the bad guys in Iraq, whoever they may be, they just don't want the monetary reform. They don't want it to happen. You know that. That's the reason why we don't have the monetary reform of the Iraqi dinar, because of the corruption that is occurring inside of the government of Iraq. But Sudani is in good control. He sure is. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, article, paralyzed for 19 years. Parliamentary optimism about passing the most important laws in Iraq. Quote, the oil and gas law is the most important of the suspended laws. This issue will be resolved in the coming days. There is absolutely no coincidence that this law is on the table now. We never know what the coming days will mean. However, with where Iraq is in her reforms and the loss of revenues from the Kurdistan region, the pressure has been mounting for results needing to take place. And quickly, this is a very good sign of things to come and likely first or at the same time. From Newshound Guru Jeff, the World Trade Meeting, July 18th. That's their third World Trade Accession meeting. They waited 16 years for that meeting. 16 years. Reason why is because there's conditions and requirement that have to be met for that meeting. A tradable convertible currency. They cannot be under US, UN sanctions. That's why they've waited 16 years for that meeting. Everybody who's on the board of directors and members board will only have until August 15. This was in print to get their comments submitted for this World Trade Accession. From Intel Guru Wolverine via Judy Byington. Looks like this is the week we have been waiting for. I am inundated with much Intel coming through. And it all lines up and none of these sources know one another. So this looks like it is definitely coming. We're in for a magnificent week. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, once a country redenominates, they don't just recognize the redenomination in country. It's recognized throughout the world. Does it make sense that they're going to have a different rate exchange in Iraq instead of out? You really believe that's going to happen? The poor people in Iraq are going to be like, wait a minute, I'm changing 1000s and all you give me is one new Iraq in our note. Only worth $3.21. In the meantime, if I just went on a trip to the United States that they would exchange my old bank notes with the current exchange rate with the zeros on there giving me millions of dollars. Does that make sense to you? No, once the redenomination takes place it's worldwide. You might still have the old notes, but you're not going to be able to exchange 1000 dinars times a $3 and 22 cents rate. That's not what happens. They make the conversion to the new Iraqi denomination. So if you bring them a 1,000, it's not 1,000 anymore, it's only one dinar. 
Then time the exchange rate of $3.22. Here you go, sir, ma'am. Here's your $3.22. Just use a little common sense. You would have this huge rush of people coming out of Iraq with their currency with all the zeros going to the United States and swapping it and becoming millionaires and then going back in their country and buying the new banknotes with their millions of dollars. Does that make sense? From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, RV News has been quiet after a very busy weekend from Iraq. Nothing on HCL yet, but our last update yesterday is it looks like it will go within days. From News Hound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, Iraq is going through many changes and one of them is a new exchange rate change. From Intel Guru Ray Ren 98, just heard from a bank source. They think something will happen in the morning. Time will tell. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is conditions. Comment down below which updates you like, you think is valuable, or got you most excited. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Newshound Guru Militia Man. Article, Iraq speeds up steps to join the WTO. Quote, the fourth round of negotiations to be held during the first quarter of next year. This acceleration means that the negotiations are proceeding with rapid steps towards Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization. It's leading you to believe they're going to be doing acceleration and they're going to go out to next year. That's not acceleration as far as I'm concerned. It's not at all. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted a significant news video the other day. In this video, we dove into a critical discussion about the Iraqi Dinar and the initiative to delete zeros from its value. Could this be part of a larger plan to reinstate the Dinar's previous value? We explored the Central Bank of Iraq has proposed an initiative to delete zeros from the Iraqi dinar. This means reducing the denominations of the currency. For example, changing a 1,000 dinar note to a 1 dinar note. But could this be more than just a redenomination? Is it part of a broader plan to reinstate the dinar's value? Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also, don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.